Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Lazy Gourmet where today we've got a mousse of an episode for you. On today's episode I'm going to make some mousse. I got a beautiful piece of mousse right here and I'm going to make this in a red Greek style kapama sauce for you served on a bed of fettuccine noodles. One thing you have to know about mousse, especially if you haven't made it before, is A, it's actually very similar to beef, and B, it's a lot gamier. In my case, what I've done is I've actually uh, had this marinating in a beautiful dry Merlot red wine for about 18 hours, and it actually smells now amazing. And it's a little bit of a hardier meat than regular beef and it's it's absolutely delicious if you haven't tried it to start us off first things first I'm gonna cut up the the mousse I almost said beef but I'm gonna cut up the mousse and brown it off so I'm gonna get us started here and put my heat up to a medium-high heat towards high to get a browning off and I'm just gonna start cutting this in pieces. And I'm gonna throw some olive oil in my pan, of course, the roasting pot that I'm gonna be browning this mousse off in. There you go, about three or four tablespoons. So that goes in just like that. I love these kind of gamey meats. If you can get them, like this mousse was actually brought to me by a dear friend of mine, Rose, who will actually be here this evening enjoying this, uh, this mousse as well. It was imported and it was brought in from Newfoundland. So after maybe three or four minutes aside, you want to just turn over the browning mousse. At this point, it actually smells a lot like beef. So my first batch of the mousse meat is almost done browned off we're just gonna wait a few minutes finish up with a second and move from there and just a quick tip for the next part of this recipe we'll be using a, another knife to cut our onions with because I use this knife to cut the raw meat with not a good idea same with the cutting board so while our moose meat is finishing browning I'm gonna quickly just slice up my onions and get those going and out of the way. I'm going to use for this recipe about two onions. They're on the smaller side which is what I'm, why I'm using two. If you have the larger ones, one will be just fine. And because it's going to go in a slow cooker and it's going to be going for hours, you don't have to necessarily finely chop up the onions. You can actually just simply slice them and you're going to be good to go. Nothing to this at all. Very easy. It's again the simple uh, kapama sauce, which is like that typical Greek tomato sauce that uh, is very, very popular with a little bit of clove and cinnamon in it. It goes great with this kind of stronger red meat. So there we go. Our mousse is now... I don't know why I get a chuckle every time I say mousse, but yes, our mousse is now done. And we're ready to go to the next part of this recipe. Add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil in here. Again, another maybe three or four, five tablespoons of olive oil. That will go in just like that. That's basically it. Give that a really quick stir. And it'll get all the nice goodness as well off the bottom as it starts releasing some of its moisture from the onions. So that's perfect there. Next part of this is a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste that's going to go in just like that. As the tomato paste will heat up, it will actually liquefy and loosen up. Next thing to go in is a can, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes along with another 28 ounce can of water. So just gonna fill this up and let it kind of pick up on its own 
juices from the sauce. That goes in there just like that. Perfect. Give this a quick stir. As you can see, there's really nothing to this at all. What we want to do is basically bring this up to a boil and then from there just empty the contents of this pot into the slow cooker and on the hob that goes. At this point, we're going to start seasoning. So, some salt. You can go a little heavier on the salt, a little bit of cinnamon, about a teaspoon of cinnamon, not that much at all, and two cloves. It's amazing how much of a punch these two little cloves can produce. So those go in there. A little bit of pepper goes in. All right, so now our sauce is up to the boil. We're just gonna move our crock pot here with our moose meat in it. And from there, we're just gonna dump the sauce that's on the simmer into here and onto the crock pot. That is absolutely magnificent. Absolutely amazing. Just gonna leave that off to the side. Look how gorgeous that is. Look how absolutely beautiful that is. The moose meat is literally drowning in this cup of tomato sauce. It's ready to go in our crock pot and in six hours it will be a thing of beauty. And I'll see you guys back here then. All right, so now we're back and it's been about six hours since our moose has been slowly working in the uh, slow cooker in our crock pot. So time to take it out and see exactly what uh, what's going on here. Now, get ready for the facial, the moose facial. <clears throat> oh. Okay, this is like hot, but I want to show you guys real quick how this turned out. And it's going to be like really really hot but it's going to be so worth it this mousse now has basically become so tender god look at this just look how gorgeous this this whole thing is absolutely magnificent it's all gone completely tender it just falls apart literally it falls apart that's how amazing this is. Oh my God. <clears throat> that is so delicious. It is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Really now, the way this tastes, you really can't taste the difference between beef and this mousse. It's that delicious. Now, in terms of serving options or ideas, you can take it just the way this is with some warm, crusty bread. Definitely an option that I prefer. You can serve this on pasta, on rice, on couscous. And here, I like to make the mousse of things. <laughs> Sorry. Well, anyway, my dear friends, thank you very much for watching today's episode. This is my little recipe on how to prepare mousse, but you can use it with beef or, or pork or chicken or whatever else you like. Not so much pork, but chicken, veal works as well, lamb, and it's the cooking process. As long as you go low and slow, you're guaranteed success. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this episode. Hit that like button. Until next time, I'm Ken, aka The Lazy Gourmet. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.